Hi, everyone. I'm Mandy Ray with OPA, the Organization for Professional Astrology. And today we are here with Louise Eddington. Louise, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and your practice? Hi, well, I'm Louise Eddington, the Cosmic Owl of Cosmic Owl Astrology. Um, I'm also a wisdom weaver who weaves uh, tarot and shamanic practices into my astrology work and more. And I've been an OPA certified practitioner for quite some time now and I've realized I cannot actually remember when it was and it's been a little while and I'm also an OPA peer group leader and going to be an OPA mentor next year so I love OPA so um, I'm very glad to be here to um, to talk about the OPA retreat that's coming up in my state where I live so yay wonderful <laughs> Do they say sunny Utah? No, I think they say snowy Utah, probably. Well, it's actually, it's really sunny. You've never, uh, it's not quite as sunny as Colorado, I think. But there's, um, when I used to ski, there's nothing like skiing on a bluebird day, as they call it. So we have a lot of, we have a lot of sun. <laughs> so. yeah, and the OPA retreat is coming up in October in Park City mm -hmm. and you live there and so what you will be doing is leading a peer group which mm -hmm. I've had the pleasure of taking before and peer group is one of my favorite things about OPA certification mm -hmm. so I'm going to let you talk a little bit about peer group mm -hmm. and what it encompasses and what it entails and how awesome it is. Yeah. Well, what I love about the OPA peer group and, you know, the OPA certification process, which is peer groups uh, lead to OPA certification um, alongside consulting skills and astronomy. Right. That's I think they don't think they've added anything else yet. <laughs> but the peer group particularly um, is such an intimate environment. You know, there's a maximum of five people, the facilitator, which is the leader, uh, which is just a peer, and four other people who are pursuing certification or exploring the peer group. And what I love about the peer group process is that it is that intimate kind of connection and covers every area of being a professional astrologer out in the world, rather than just, um, you know, judging your technique or or whatever, it's how you work as an astrologer. So we look at your business plan, we look at, uh, we, we do practice readings, which is not as intimidating as it sounds. I was intimidated the first time and after that, I'm like, oh, this is really supportive and helpful because unless you make any really huge glaring errors, nobody's judging your technique. It's all about how you consult with another uh, person in a, consultation setting and it just covers all the problems that you might have it, it gets you to look at uh, issues that have come up for you with problem clients but also that could come up from other people's experience so it's more about how you work as an astrologer and how you can develop and grow as a, as a practitioner so mm -hmm. and you know uh, one of the things I think is really important about that is you can learn astrology for years you can know mm -hmm. it inside and out the technical aspects uh the decans the uh rulers i mean we could throw oh. out so many different terms and the perfection mm -hmm. years and hellenistic and evolutionary astrology and there are many many different schools oh. of thought for astrology oh, yeah. uh, but one thing that i i think opa does well is the interpersonal aspects of it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think having a, a conversation about how you deal with, for instance, uh, hard clients, and we all have mm -hmm. them. And sometimes you just uh, have friction with a certain person. Yeah. Um, and how you also approach opening the session and how you approach closing the session and follow ups. And then secondly, the business plan, which people might not realize is actually there you have to do it you know once you want to yeah. become an astrologer you have to have a business plan yeah. uh, so what do you think for yourself when you went through peer group was the mm -hmm. most helpful 
Oh gosh, well, all of it. But but honestly, um, I'm glad you mentioned the business plan because I'm not very strategic. <laughs> and so <laughs> I kind of do things on a whim as they come up, you know, but having a business plan and I've kept it up since because as a peer group leader, especially and a certified astrologer, we have to keep, you know, updating this. I've realized that a business plan just gives you something to aim for. It's a bit like setting new moon intentions in a way. It doesn't mean it's set in stone and that you're going to be judged a year later or whatever, that you didn't get this done in, in 2024. It just focuses your intention of how you want to grow your business. And that's a, the great thing about doing it in a small group as well. You get ideas of things that you could do in your business that would help grow your business rather than just thinking you only have to do readings, for example. So, yeah, absolutely. Uh, there's just like any uh, quote unquote industry, there are lots of different roles people can mm -hmm. play. Some of them are one-on-one. -on -one. Some people want to do copywriting for astrology. Yeah. So all or, of that. Or yeah. like Stormy Grace, uh, you know, she actually suggested I start doing merch on my YouTube channel, you know, and I never thought of adding things like that with my logo on merch. I don't promote it much, uh, you know, but um, but little things like that. It gives you these ideas of adding in all these little parts of um, things that can help you earn money as an astrologer, basically. <laughs> so. And that actually gets driven home that you know, you have to value yourself and your own energy mm -hmm. and your own time. And we talk about even rates and mm -hmm. what are you charging? Are you charging enough? Are you charging too much? What yeah. is it like in your area? Uh, and, and, you know, what is the, uh, the lay of the land where you live? Is it something, mm -hmm. for instance, I live in Alabama and I don't, uh, maybe charge as much as someone who lives in LA for an astrology reading. Like me, I only work online. I don't work. I don't do in-person sessions. So how does that work? You know? how, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and, and the ins and outs of all of it, which change from person to person and the peer group is really interesting because you get to see how other people do it as well and, yeah. and decide to pick and choose. What is it that I like? And what is it that yeah. I want to invite in or not? Uh, and I do love uh, one of the things that we go over in peer group, and I personally have taken it so I can talk to uh, speak on that. So mm -hmm. is the the question of uh, difficult clients. That is one of my favorite because mm -hmm. um, I think that, you know, we go into this with this cheery sort of, oh, astrology, let's all, you know, and then you, oh. you have someone who's had a really hard time you know, mm -hmm. and it may be difficult. So what do you lead people into when you're talking about that specific subject, when you're leading mm. peer group? Yeah, well, uh, you know, this is going to be my third peer group. Uh, uh, this is my first in-person peer group. So I'm so excited about that. And I've already got two spaces gone, by the way, there's only two left. So please grab one. Um, I lead them into kind of saying it just has to be challenging to you. It doesn't have to be an absolute nightmare. It was just something that really challenged perhaps how you work or you just didn't connect with the person or something like that. And one of my approaches that I think I'm going to be bringing in myself, and by the way, the peer group leader has to do this too. We have to bring a challenging client in and we have to do a reading so um we are peers um is that uh, how you market yourself and put your language out there in the world can kind of put off the clients that you won't connect with it doesn't mean they're awful people but focusing on that side of it on what you're putting out in the world attracts the kind of clients that you um work well with let's say Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I, personally, I, yeah, I have to right off the bat, uh, kind of say myself, I don't do hard and fast predictions. So don't come ask me if you're going to win the lottery because we I, I, I say that straight up on my <laughs> uh, website. I said, if you want to know, you know, if you're going to meet the love of your life this year and get married, 
I'm not the one for you. <laughs> right. And some, some astrologers are the one for you, you yes. know, because yeah. there are definitely people who that make that their business, you know? So, mm -hmm. and, you know, another thing that I really like is the camaraderie. Like you said, we are mm -hmm. peers. And yes. so that's been one of my favorite things yeah. uh, to, to experience with the OPA peer group. And I know you've probably met friends and now colleagues well, who you're close well, with. You. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. The people I've met, not everybody is sometimes in a peer group. It doesn't mean you dislike them, but you don't connect as closely, but I've made some really good friends and and through the OPA peer group process. And that's always great as well for um, helping your career, because then you talk to people, you know, you connect with other astrologers that are working in a very professional manner, which is the main aim of OPA, to be quite honest, to so that you can support each other and grow yeah. your business. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is the Organization for Professional Astrology, after all. Exactly. <laughs> I think it would be helpful, uh, astrology or not, for people to do peer groups for whatever subject I, that they I are agree. in. <laughs> well, I get, I get, I guess it's kind of based on a mastermind uh, kind of model, you know, which was what from Think and Grow Rich, I think, that came mm. from. Um, you know, so you know, it's a. a small group meeting and really going into detail to attract what they want in in life and and so um this is based on the astrology business that's it. absolutely and the yeah. practice the practice readings for one another uh, i found to be extremely helpful um mm -hmm. i i had someone tell me one time that I was a little motherly, I think, or or something like that, you know, which was fine. I needed to to know that I, yeah. I don't need to tell someone to eat their vegetables in an astrology session, you know, um, <laughs> and that's that's been a really helpful part of this. And uh, you trade off with uh, others and you see how they do it and then they give you feedback. And yeah. has any of the feedback been difficult for you yet? Um, actually, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but then I have I'm such a Sagittarius I'm such that miss positivity that even if it's somewhat challenging feedback I suppose I always go well I've learned something from that so <laughs> absolutely I know I did and it, yeah it didn't uh, generally speaking I think uh, these peer groups are done in the spirit of kindness and oh. Absolutely. And to build you up. So there is no, uh, if you're watching this and and wondering about mm -hmm. an open peer group and what it's like, it is a, a great experience all around. Yeah. And this one coming up, let's just go ahead and talk about Park yes. City a little bit. We'll be mm -hmm. in person. They don't always happen in person with OPO that we have online um, availability for peer mm -hmm. groups, but this one will be at the OPA Retreat Awakening in Park City, Utah, uh, in person. And I've had the pleasure of doing two online and one in person. And mm -hmm. it is a different Same. experience. Mm -hmm. It's a great experience in person because you actually, there's something about that heart field that you get into in person where you can feel mm -hmm. the other's energy and feel, um, see their, their facial expressions clearly and uh, mm -hmm. know what's going on, you know, but Park City in October with the aspen leaves oh well i live in uh, in utah uh, and i used to live in park city just a mile from the actual venue of the retreat and uh, it's just such a gorgeous time of year the aspen leaves turn gold and yellow and beautiful and park city has trails and i know where most of them are so you know come find me and and just just the view from from the venue you know it is just gorgeous and it's just a beautiful place to stay um the weather's beautiful at that time of year in utah it's not too hot and it's before the snow really kicks in there may be some at the top of the mountains but um but that adds to the beauty so you know it's just um an amazing place uh, to visit it's an old silver mining town that's famous for the greatest snow on earth they call it so because it's powder pure powder very light snow and um 
and I can't rave about it enough and the venue you know I I I know the venue I actually went and toured it for um the event organizer and I'm helping her organize it with a few things but um I've also been to events at that venue and it's a lovely peaceful venue with beautiful hotel rooms a pool hot tubs hot <laughs> tub. and you know I've yeah. been uh to an OPA conference and, and just, you know, a little, a little bit about it, both Louisiana and I have, um, mm -hmm. it's smaller in scale. And so it feels mm -hmm. like community, like friendship, more, um, much more intimate. Yeah. Yeah. We have a, we have a day of speakers all in one room. Then we go off and do these peer groups or tracks, but this year, um, this time, um, they've introduced something that I'm quite excited about is that all the faculty, that's you know, the leaders, the teachers and speakers are having a sign up list for people if they if people want to join them for dinner each evening. That doesn't mean we're paying for it, but <laughs> but you but usually I don't know if you remember Mandy Ray at the other Oprah conferences. There's a bit of a bun fight. People going, "Can I come and have dinner?" Yes. Well, now now the the kind of shyer people or the more reticent people who can just go and put their name on the list and mm -hmm. join the um, somebody they would like to talk to more um, at dinner. And or you can not. You can just have dinner on your own as well. You can. You can retreat it all the way. Yeah. You want to retreat yourself. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I'm I'm actually trying to organize a special little thing, hopefully one evening as well. So uh, we'll see if that comes off. But um, all I can say at this point, because um, it's been approved that I can ask if I can do it. So I'm asking with the hotel. Um, is bring something sparkly or something a bit dancey. So, yeah. uh, <laughs> sparkles, retreat, aspen yeah. leaves, hot tubs, and peer group. Which oh, and I, the night and the night sky. Yes, yes. Jim and I, Brett, will be leading some uh, starry yeah. sky walks, um, yeah. and that's also one of my favorite parts about uh, these retreats. I. I he took us out to see Mercury rise the last time. And yeah. it's, it's yeah. not uh, easy to see Mercury uh, mm. at all times. So this was really, really neat. And there's just so many talented people at this retreat. Um, and uh, the fact that you get to go and have peer group with Louise and then maybe go on a star walk and then get to go to uh -huh. dinner um, and, or sit in the hot tub and, and have yourself a, a wonderful week because it is five days, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, it five is. days. Yeah. So yeah. it'll be a reset for all of us. Oh, it will. You know, <laughs> it's. I can't wait, and I'm only um, what twenty miles from my house that yeah. I'm totally going to switch off from my yeah. house for that. Absolutely. Days, so. mm -hmm. yeah. uh, tell me, Louise, is there anything else you would like to say to the public? Well, I would like to say that um, OPA is my favourite of the astrology orgs because of this really kind of integrative, kind of intimate approach to it. It's it's all about connection and community, which is is more than some of the other orgs. Some of the other orgs, I mean, of course, they have their strengths as well, but this is my favourite um, it was the first conference I went to, the OPA conference in Zion, which was southern Utah. And uh, after that, I kind of knew this was my org because I'm quite, you know, I work online only. Despite appearances, I'm actually very introverted and quite shy. And that's why I kind of like the OPA retreats because they are more um, intimate. So. Mm. so come along, have a yes. wonderful retreat week. <laughs> yes, absolutely. It is inviting uh, the Oprah Retreats and you are invited to the Oprah Retreat, which mm. you can find on opaastrology.org, all about the retreat, all mm. about the tracks, which you can choose different tracks, peer group. Um, oh, I, can I just say you have to have been a practicing paid astrologer to do a peer group for, six, peer months, group. for yes. six months minimum. And that only means, you know, having just launched for six months you know it's um it's we welcome beginners but 
Mm -hmm. um, I'd love to see anybody in my peer group as well. I know who the two people are that have already signed up and they're lovely. And so let's get a lovely group together. So. Yes. <laughs> two more spots left in Louise's <laughs> and there's all sorts of tracks as well. And, you know, it does take you closer to certification. Mm -hmm. So it is really worth it. It feels so nice to have people um, helping you make your practice be the best it can be. And mm -hmm. I know that I've experienced that. And this conference, retreat conference, will help you along the way. So opaastrology.org, you can read all about peer group, the, the requirements, um, consulting skills, uh, and then the it, other I think tracks. That's, isn't that full? Is it? it? Oh, yeah, you're, I think, you might I be think right. it might be. So. Yeah. So yeah. sign up fast. <laughs> They're going quick. <laughs> All right, everyone. Okay. We are going to sign off. So I am Mandy Ray with OPA, the Organization for Professional Astrology. Thank you, Louise of Cosmic Owl Astrology. <laughs> there you go. Absolutely. Thank go you. check it out. <laughs> All right. We'll talk to you soon.